So I was recently dicking around on the internet trying to find out about the physical release date for Wonder Boy A Dragon's Trap on the PS4, when somehow I stumbled across this. This game has apparently been out on Steam since 2016 and has been out on the PS4 since December of last year. I couldn't believe it, a Wonder Boy game? that I knew nothing about. How the fuck did that happen? So after firing up the game, we see a very complicated diagram of the controls, which is followed up by the game's story portrayed in a comic strip-like thing. It's pretty cool, actually. It shows that Wonder Boy is a cheating shit, and his missus is an idiot. And the big bad boss of this one is, I don't know, some red devil thing. When we reach the main menu, we find out you can play the game in easy mode, normal mode, or hell. I have to say, one really cool thing that you see from the word go is that there's unlockable characters for the game. You can actually play as Tina, Wonder Boy's girlfriend, and Classic Boy, which is essentially Wonder Boy from the Master System. So of course I've got to unlock that. The gameplay itself is fantastic fun. It's incredibly colourful. The music is just like that of the original game. Which makes sense seeing as this is, of course, a remake of the original game. With snails, throwing hammers, poxy food all over the place. You know, just like the original. I found the game to be a bit slippery to what I'm used to with the Master System one, but you adapt fairly quickly. And in terms of difficulty, well, I'm actually wishing I had gone for hell straight away, because it's kind of easy. The first boss, for example, is an absolute piece of piss. But don't worry, because that's all evened out by the second boss, which can all be summed up with a montage. Fuck! Shit! Wank! Damn it! Ass! Can! Fuck! Yes, I did eventually do it, but god damn, I spent more time on this boss than any of the others. If you're wondering why that is, well, the second boss is actually the only real boss with any strategy. And it's kind of tricky. All the other bosses, if you stay over the left-hand side and just keep throwing fucking hammers, you eventually win. At least that's what it feels like. Anyway, it's pretty simple. After hitting game over for the first time because of the fucking octopus, I found out I had actually already unlocked Classic Boy. Yay! So of course I'm playing the rest of the game as that. And somehow, call me crazy, but the game feels less slippery with Classic Boy. I don't know what it is. It's probably just me being mad, but I actually feel more comfortable playing it with this sprite as opposed to the other one. The game is very simple and very repetitive, just like the original Wonder Boy, but it is still quite a lot of fun. The die-hard Wonder Boy fans will love it straight away, no problems. But other fans out there that were hoping for something more like Dragon's Trap, well, I hate to say it, but you're going to be disappointed. In terms of flaws with the game, there are only two. The price is not good. £13.99. That is a little too much. I would not recommend anyone to buy it now. I would wait until it's cheaper because that price is a little too steep. I mean, in just an hour and a half, I am already halfway through the game on normal mode. And I've unlocked all the characters already. I find that quite disappointing. It would be better if you unlocked the last character when you had completed the game on a difficulty setting. It's more traditional that way, and it makes you push to play the game again, you know, for a second time. As it is, the only reason for me to play the game again would be to play it on a harder difficulty, which I kind of wish I had done in the first place. If you're the kind of person that likes getting your trophies for your PS4, then this is not the game for you either, because this game doesn't give out that many. In fact, I think I've earned like one trophy so far, and I can't remember what it was for. I do know one of the trophies you can get is for doing level one on the easiest setting which isn't so much a trophy as it is a pat on the head and a derp. So those are the only real flaws with the game, but I have to say the game is still worth getting, just not right now because of the price. But it is a wonderful little platformer. It's got tons of great scenery, it's overloading with colour, and it's a great little game to play when you just want to chill out and you can't be fucked to think about what you're going to play or do or any of that kind of shit. So if you're a die-hard Wonder Boy fan, Buy this game now, it is great fun, and I guarantee you will enjoy it. If you're kind of on the fence about it, trust me, it's still worth getting, but you should wait for the price to go down. Because I am a die-hard Wonder Boy fan, and I still admit the price is steep. One little side note I want to add in. Yes, it's great that there's nods to the original Wonder Boy game, seeing as this is a remake, of course, but there's one thing I was really hoping for that's not here. As some of you may know, in Wonder Boy A Dragon's Trap for the PS4, you have the ability to downscale the graphics to that of the Master System, which is fantastic for anyone that likes Master System, 
But what's even better is that you can change the music from orchestral to 8-bit. I fucking love that feature! I was really hoping for something like that here, but it doesn't seem to exist, at least I can't find it. So there you go, all in all, great game, worth buying, up to you when you decide to pay for it though. And if you want to see a little bit more Wonder Boy action, I have recently just done a Let's Play for Wonder Boy in Monster World for the Master System. Shameless plug right here, link to the video in the description. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Game Poke. If you enjoyed the video, please click like or leave a comment, it's all good. And if you want to help out the channel, please click subscribe, it really does help. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time.